<laughs> um, good morning, and welcome to Unique Devotions. Um, here I pose a question and uh, read a little bit of scripture, or I read a little bit of scripture and pose a question. Um, always uh, asking the question that God has put on my heart for me to ask myself throughout the day and uh, to always come back to this scripture as a sort of meditation in, in moments where I need uh, to get refocused, you know, clarify, fill in uh, those blank time <laughs> uh, mind moments with something of uh, importance instead of wasting it on daydreaming. Um, there's a time for daydreaming, but um, not all the time. So, um, today I'll be reading uh, Luke chapter 3, and I'm only going to read 10 um, down here through uh, probably just 14, and then we'll finish this section um, next time, and we're still working with uh, John Preaches to the People. So, uh, 10 through 14, here we go. So the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answered and said to them, He who has two tunics, let him give to him who has none. And he who has food, let him do likewise. Then tax collectors also came to be baptized and said to him, Teacher, what shall we do? And he said to them, Collect no more than what is appointed for you. Likewise, the soldiers asked him, saying, well, What shall we do? So he said to them, Do not intimidate anyone or accuse falsely, and be content with your wages. I think that's an appropriate spot to stop here. Uh, there's a super obvious question here. Um, what shall we do? Um, each, uh, each group of people here are asking the same question, and then he's giving them an answer that pertains to their situation of what they're doing. He doesn't just give a blanket um, answer for everyone to follow. And I think this is important. Because we all have different circumstances. And, and broken down, each one of us has very specific circumstances. Even though you can generalize a lot of lives and lump a lot of people into people groups, we still have very specific um, things that are going on in our life, very, very specific situations very specific perspectives so we need to ask that question what shall I do then um, this is kind of a life question and a, an immediate moment question it's a life question because you know, what shall I do with my life what am I doing with my life And you need to pose that question outward to God and to yourself and have that communication. Because the sooner you figure out what it is that you're really called to do, and sometimes that's just trying different things and, and building, um, building what it is that you're truly meant to do, um, the sooner you figure that out, the better. It'll it'll totally just release your heart and your mind and your soul and your body and take so much stress off of your life. Um, and I am no spring chicken. It's taken me a long time to start to really figure that out. But everything that I've done along the way has built me to where I am. So there is no age appropriate time here. But it is important to ask that question 
and continue to work towards that answer. Now, what pertains to the moments? In every moment where you feel lost, confused, you're daydreaming too much, feel blank, you need to ask this question, oh my God, what, what should I be doing right here? What should I do? And ask the Holy Spirit. It's in you. He's right there. He wants to guide you. Ask him what you should be doing. And then he's going to give you an immediate answer. Listen to that still, small voice in the back of your mind. And, and don't think that you have a better answer. Because you don't. And you can try it again and again and again. And each time you're going to say, oh, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have. If you're asking that question, you're not listening to the Holy Spirit. So, what shall you do then? All day long, whenever you come up with some, some time where you need to get re-clarified, ask that question to yourself and uh, just let it resonate and see what, uh, see what you come up with by the end of the day. See if things are a little different in your mind. See if your focus has changed by the end of the day. All right. So with that, uh, please leave the. Qu if there are any other questions that pop up in your mind that God is putting on your heart from what I just read, um, please put that in the comments below. Um, it'll help just build perspectives for everyone. Uh, please like this video so that other people can see that it's good stuff. Put it on on your Facebook page or whatever, just to um, promote this so that we can continue to help each other. And. Um, just kind of grow in our daily environment. And, um, well, that's it. I'm so exhausted, I'm tired. Uh, I need to get moving and finish the rest of my day. So, may God bring you all the blessings today that you deserve, and especially all the blessings that you don't deserve. Until tomorrow, God bless.